guys, we just got to our hotel room and I'm gonna be kicking off a work vlog for this video, but I did wanna give you a quick hotel room tour. So we actually brought two cats, Koji and Bella. Oh yeah, and we got this portable litter box. Not which, enough litter. Not enough litter, it's very small. But we'll be working here for the week. This is a midtown for anyone who's wondering. State. Where's Empire State? Literally right in front of you, if you just look up. Oh. <laughs> That one. But yeah, basically we're in New York this week because Luca actually has a work trip for the first half of the week and then the second half of the week we're actually going to a event, like an esports event. We're gonna be at Worlds, which is an esports event for League of Legends. Yeah, we are very excited. Um, this is my first time going to Worlds. I think it's also his first time, but apparently it's the first time Worlds has been hosted in NA, North America since six years ago or so. So we are very excited to be here and then yeah, I think my sister's gonna be joining me at the end of the week. For the most part, I will be working out of the hotel room. So obviously I'll be taking you guys along with me. But yeah, I actually have a lot of travel related oh. vlogs coming up. The last one you saw was probably in Orlando for the Grease Hopper conference. And then we're also going on another work trip about two weeks from now. But we're gonna get settled in, eat some food, and then I'll start the official work vlog tomorrow morning. breakfast that Luca finessed for me while I was sleeping okay it was free but he grabbed it at like 7 30 a.m. when I was sleeping morning is about 8 a.m. something it's pretty good to be honest Koji Alright guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a workday in my life vlog. So as you can see, there is a different background in Bella. Um, but we are currently in New York. I think I explained it yesterday to you, but um, basically we're in New York because Luca has a work trip. We'll be leaving New York on Sunday, um, but for the most part, I'll just be working from the hotel room. And also I got this new hoodie just for this occasion. It is from Etsy. It's like a one piece hoodie for anyone who watches one piece but just to give you an idea of what to expect for this week so as of the time that i'm filming this it's actually after the end of a quarter recently so usually my team is busiest during those quarter end periods and honestly it depends on your team but some teams are project based where maybe you have like a certain project deadline at a certain time and that's when you get busiest or maybe you just follow the calendar and are busy every quarter or maybe you do sprints and at the end of every sprint every two weeks or even one week you get really busy well actually we have more than just quarterly projects um but it just happens to get busy towards the end of the quarter for us and right now we are coming off of that so it's going to be a little bit slower um well not really because i still have a lot of project-based work to do um but it's also cybersecurity awareness month and i know by the time you see this it will not be cybersecurity awareness month because because i'm very slow with editing so you'll probably see this in november or so but yeah october is cybersecurity awareness month so you've probably seen already some emails from companies that are giving you tips for cybersecurity awareness and things like that so i'm helping create one of one of those communications and yeah it'll be really exciting obviously that's not going to take up my entire week but it's going to be something fun that i'll be working on this week maybe i'll get started on it today so i can kind of share with you guys a little bit um since it's nothing confidential it's just cybersecurity awareness thing for everyone and i think i'm doing mine on um, holiday shopping and fraud because especially going into the holiday season there's going to be a lot of fraud around around fake delivery notifications um even like fake websites that are pretending to be certain well-known shopping websites a lot of fraud phishing and cybersecurity attacks that you should be aware of before the holiday season because that is definitely something that hackers take advantage of i'm going to catch up on my emails over the weekend and i also have to check up on the tickets because i do have a few members of my team that are off this week and then i also have a meeting at 10 o'clock so actually let's go over my calendar it's been a while since i've done that i also got this apple juice that luca got me okay so i have a call at 10 o'clock with my career coach so i definitely shared that i have a career coach on this channel before but she is honestly such a big help in helping me plan out the future of my career and where i want to go um so actually my company has a service that provides career coaches and so basically i'm just using a company perk right now but yeah i would definitely recommend it i'm sure that they are pricey considering even therapy is pretty pricey but i definitely think that's definitely been a huge plus for me in my career growth and just helping me with the direction of my life and of course just getting things done just being able to be productive and use the 
tips and tricks they provide me to help stay on track is also very important and after that we have another call that is actually just going to be a bridge line for the day so i might hop on that in and out there are a few overview calls today and then one at 2 30 and then i have a team call at four o'clock that is going to be my day um not too many meetings to be honest um the real meetings i'm going to be attending are obviously my career coach session and then my office hours and then my team call for four o'clock um typically my team to be honest for cybersecurity teams i've never had a touch base regularly with my team um besides when i was doing like software development and we had and we had like daily stand-ups but even then we didn't have really daily stand-ups it was more so every other day this one is also kind of every other day and basically we just talk about anything that's blocking us um so it's not necessarily a stand-up call but it's just a way it's for the team to kind of get on the same page and of course answer any questions that someone might need help with or any tickets that someone is going through but yeah we did get a good amount of tickets over the weekend so i'm going to be working on two of them this morning so i'm just going to stop rambling and stop there Alright, so for those of you who don't know, I've been on this channel for about three years now since November 2nd and I wanted to do a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll be announcing the giveaway as well as the prizes. There'll be three winners and yeah, I just am so excited that you guys have decided to stay with me on this channel and I know it's definitely been a journey but I'm so thankful for all of you guys who supported me and who've subscribed, commented, liked any video in the past. Um, just thank you guys so much for your support and I don't want to get very mushy but yeah. Alright guys, I closed the blinds because it was getting a little bit too hot in here from the sun But basically just got off a few of my calls and I was really just sitting in um, a lot of calls I've noticed maybe even half of the calls that I take are more so informational um, And I don't play a huge part of it besides just listening and um, Maybe providing like a link or a resource wherever I can but besides that I've also been Kind of multitasking even though i'm sure you guys have heard of things about multitasking but yeah i'm going through our risk register tickets and a risk register is really just a place where cybersecurity teams put their risks anything that comes up as a risk you probably want to add it in there just in case you know there's an audit or something happens or maybe you need to show like the senior leadership team what your risk register looks like but yeah it's definitely been a very busy morning um especially sitting in on that call i definitely learned a lot and now Honestly, this whole morning I've had this really bad headache and I think it's because I haven't drank enough water but I also think it's just really dusty in this room. Um, I've been meaning to go downstairs and get some food but I also ate the rest of my breakfast for lunch so now I'm not even hungry. But I wanted to get bubble tea but the bubble tea that I want which is from Xing Fu Tang which is where we went yesterday as well. Um, they don't open until 2 o'clock which is crazy. I guess they're that good they have to, they're okay with having those kinds of hours. But for anyone wondering, I get the oolong milk tea or the black milk tea and I get that with taro boba. It's so good. It is so so good. Yeah, I literally cannot express enough how good this boba is. It's definitely one of my favorite bobas, if not the favorite boba of my entire life. Yeah, they have it in New York. Um, they have another one, I think, in Toronto when we went last year. Yeah, so that is my day. Um, obviously, it's been very busy. Um, some star security related work and some meeting based work. Um, this afternoon isn't going to be too crazy since I finished my tickets, which was really nice. And I'm going to be going through the rest of the risk register, so honestly not too many exciting things going on. Um, but hopefully this is kind of exciting to you guys and also cybersecurity related enough. Because while it's not necessarily something confidential that my company has a risk register because every company should have a risk register, but I do think that it's definitely hard to sometimes draw the boundary between what I can share online, obviously because work for a company and i don't want to talk about anything confidential but yeah basically that is always a line that i want to be wary of when i'm creating vlogs like this which is also another reason why i don't often make work vlogs but because i'm traveling and working it kind of gets me in the mood to create work vlogs because i want to vlog the experience for you guys but yeah this is the extent of what i can share hopefully you guys understand but let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments for the work that i'm doing as a security analyst and i'll try my best to help answer anything um in a generic format that isn't you know stepping on anything confidential so bella is laying here taking a nap what a life what a life of a house cat or a hotel cat and then there's mr koji laying on the ground um he loves to stare out the window but i think it was just getting too hot so i decided to turn the blinds down for them to cool off a little bit but bella is doing great she's she's thriving all right guys i think
think I'm going to go outside and get some food <laughs> finally. It's about 12.40 right now, so I think I have enough time because I found this cafe that's 0.1 miles away. So it should be less than a block away. Um, that should be right downstairs. It's called Bika Cafe or Bika Cafe. B-I-C-A Cafe. They have little pastries and they also have like, it looks like some bowls. So I'm just gonna grab something and go. I kind of want some kind of like matcha latte too, but I probably shouldn't because I'm probably having some kind of caffeine withdrawal. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'll see you guys with me briefly for this little tiny walk outside. All right, I've said this before, but I really feel like New York has always been or is a city that I prefer to visit than live in. I always feel, you know, excited to explore the city and try different places. But again, I don't think I could ever really enjoy living here unless I had like a whole social circle here. But yeah, maybe that's, that's another reason. But okay, so I got three things. Brazilian bakery, I believe. And I got these two egg tarts. Um, one of them is a normal egg tart and another one is a matcha version of the egg tart. But these were like, cheese puffs so it's like bread and cheese in the middle all right i ordered some boba and we got the wrong order which is very sad but um got more ching putang and someone i guess someone else got our order but this is um the coffee milk tea which i normally don't drink coffee and i probably have a really bad headache from caffeine right now or caffeine withdrawal but i have no choice but to drink this i guess since it's already here and i also have that second one which is uh yeah, I definitely just got someone's completely different order because what are the chances that both of the drinks are different from what we ordered? But yeah, anyways, I'm going back on my Capture the Flag that I'm working on. I don't think I told you guys about this one. This is the Flare On 9 CTF by Mandiant. And one of my coworkers recommended this one. And I've talked before about like trying to do some reverse engineering training. Um, obviously, I have no experience with it, um, but I've just been getting used to using Ghidra and um, P Studio. For some reason, Ida or Ida wasn't working on my Ubuntu machine, so I got my Windows machine to run it. So it just seems very, um, what's it called, low budget right now. Like I'm switching between like the two VMs, um, depending on which tool that I want to use. But yeah, I just opened my Ubuntu machine. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna stare at it a little more. This is my first real experience doing any kind of reverse engineering challenge, so it's definitely very interesting. I know you guys have said in the comments that you would like to see me post or create content on these capture the flags or like hacking challenges. But I think my answer to that request was that there's so many YouTubers out there who are so pro at solving these challenges that I really feel like they would have so much more to teach you than me, um, especially someone who's, you know, basically, especially as someone who's very much a beginner. Um, I don't brag about my ethical hacking skills at all, but I do think it's one of those fun things um, or fun ways to pick up new skills. and learn new tools mostly in cybersecurity. So again, I am very much a beginner, but if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like this, let me know. All right guys, Luca's back and he is ready to share with you his work on site experience. And of course, Bella being an exceptional cat, that figure, that form, Bella. Now it's the food. Luca's here to share with you his off-site experience yeah so how is it so today very nice so today is like the first official time that i met my new team members I, i've been working with them for like a while now but never met any of them in person except for my manager so it's actually really crazy we mostly just like played around with each other's uh, product because like we've been working closely within our work stream but my manager has like you know, two or three different sub teams so we get to try out different applications learn more from like other organizations outside our team to talk about like how we can better work together so overall it's a lot of team bonding and team sharing knowledge sharing and tomorrow is going to be more future oriented talking about goals and stuff like that so i think that's how we laid out so in a bit i'm going to be attending my team's dinner so looking forward to that and then we have our employee of the month bella that's the employee of the month yeah, look at her. She's getting and exceeds expectations. You can't eat bananas. All right, so you guys heard Luca's day in the life for a work offsite or on site. Yeah, he's gonna head to dinner soon. Um, I'm gonna order some dinner. Originally, I was going to eat with my cousin, but she's working from home today, so she's not gonna be in the city. So I'm just gonna order some skewers from this place that we went to the last time that we visited New York. It's this really unassuming little Asian restaurant that's like 
kind of near the Midtown area. Yeah, so I'm very excited to get some skewers. Um, I didn't eat any protein today, and ever since I started working out, I've been trying to keep a closer eye on like, or not really trying to keep a closer eye, but thinking more about the types of food groups that I'm taking in. So like getting enough protein is probably the main thing I worry about. And then maybe like, you know, thinking about vegetables and stuff, but mostly protein, at least, I wanna get at least like, I don't know, 20 to 30 grams of protein a day. I just got my skewers. I am so excited. I ordered like 10 of them. This is what it looks like. This one is like a fish tofu. It definitely tastes different from the first time, but it's still pretty good. This is a chicken. Koji? Bella? Alright, so now I'll finally be sharing the details of the giveaway. So there's going to be three winners, like I mentioned earlier. Um, but basically, I came up with three final prizes, and all of them will come with my cybersecurity digital career products. So that's basically the complete bundle. So the third prize winner is going to get a Devoom Pixel Display. This one is one of those cool tech things that I mentioned. Well, I think it's cool. I don't know if everyone else will. But basically, it's like a programmable pixel art display, and you can put it on your desk as decor. I personally also have a Devoom D2 Plus, I believe, and it is also also a pixel art displayer and you probably see in the background of lots of my YouTube videos where I'm just speaking to you guys and then the second prize winner is going to win a YubiKey which is basically a two-factor authentication thing that you have outside of your mobile phone for example if your phone can't get a text message or you don't have service or you don't have access to your phone a YubiKey basically attaches directly to your laptop and anytime you have a two-factor you can actually just tap the YubiKey and it'll automatically type it in for you no need to Go to your phone read something and then type in th those numbers into your laptop again that is actually something i had in my previous role and it was very very convenient and then the number one prize of this giveaway i know a lot of you guys mentioned certification exam vouchers but obviously i can't find one exam voucher that works for everyone and i don't want that to dissuade anyone from from entering this giveaway if you know a certification that i buy a voucher for is not of interest to you so basically i decided to have the first prize as a hundred dollar visa gift card and hopefully you can use that and that can cover at least part of the exam voucher but yeah i will include the rules of the giveaway in the comment section below it'll be the pinned comment in the comment section so please please follow those instructions slash rules in that comment so that you can guaranteed be entered and all those details will be down in the comment section thank you guys so so much for all of your support and wishing you all the best of luck for the giveaway all right guys i think i'm going to close out the vlog here thank you guys so much for all of your support for the last three years on this channel it feels crazy to say and it also just blows my mind that there's 30,000 of you um, and most of you came onto my channel this year yeah it's definitely been a long journey I think it took me a year to even get a thousand subscribers way back then so I'm just really happy that you guys are all here let me know in the comments if there's any specific content that you might want to see from me in the future and I definitely don't is tired of my talking but yeah my camera's also about to die but thank you guys so much for watching and definitely don't forget to sign up for the giveaway all the rules are going to be in the comments below and i'll be picking winners in probably about a week after this video posts but i'll be reaching out directly to the winner so definitely don't fall for any scams we are cybersecurity professionals um or soon to be cybersecurity professionals so don't fall for any phishing attacks around this giveaway please but thank you again so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m. Please excuse the police sirens. We are near Times Square, but hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!